the lovelies we're still talking to official rosie and um you know she was one of the um housemates in ultimate love during the lockdown that was 2020 <laughs> <Yeah>. wow <laughs> okay so rosie tell us um you are a teacher yeah do you still teach when you came out of the house were you with the popularity and everything could you still go back to teaching i prefer to be a consultant to schools okay so in handling their preschool section for them i would love to do that because a full-time job to be a teacher okay. <laughs> so and i don't have that luxury of time Presently. so if schools are out there anywhere in nigeria i would love to be a consultant okay so what what, what makes you maybe walk away from that career part now is the fact that you're busy or the fact that you're not popular the fact that i'm busy not popular okay. i love children and every given opportunity that i have i would educate i would teach even when i came out i remember having sessions with children i remember having sessions with teenagers and opening the minds of parents to see what they do wrong or where they're going wrong with their kids with children yeah All right. because All right. kids are very sensitive so i used my platform to you know i use that opportunity to impact them yeah. okay um a lot of things happened in ultimate love a <laughs> lot of things with you and Kachi. it was the internet was on fire yeah the internet was on fire were you in love with Kachi? yes i was so you you were heartbroken oh god to shreds to pieces because it's one thing to love someone that you really don't know at the end of the day and at the end turns out to be a monster that I was the that situation. Word. Yeah. How did your fans take this? Everyone kept coming at me. <laughs> at first. Uh, yeah, everyone kept coming at me saying that, yeah, they know I wouldn't stay after I've been in um, other relationship. I didn't stay, not knowing the circumstance of those relationships. Um, she loves money. Of course, if I love money, that's would that's even the main reason why I would stay. Yeah, exactly. Because I walked There's away. There's money in it. <laughs> it's not even that. I walked away from um, 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 a real estate was going to sign us as couples. That's what I'm saying. The There's wedding. money so I walked in away the, from a million ship, like the shippers are going to bring money. <laughs> I mean, like over deals, me, you know. And there were like two companies away, so I walked away from. You know, million I was deals going to say and that. all that. Walking so, away from the relationship affected you, some of your deals. Yes, it did. We were not signed after that, which I didn't. I didn't mind because my sanity was more important. Was more important to yeah. you at the time. Yeah, well, I was already broken, broken. so I had to pull out of uh, social media. I had signed out. My manager was handling. My ex manager was handling the rest. How did you feel emotionally knowing that Kachi is out there painting something else, and then the the person you know has changed from the house? How did that make it's you feel? It's not the person I knew has changed. The person I was covering up just finally exposed himself. But did you know in the house that he was this kind of person? No, no. That's what I'm no, saying. No, no. So at there that were point, cameras, so of course, <laughs> and there were cameras everywhere. Okay, you mentioned something that he's he's a good actor. What do you mean by ah, that? Ah, he's a good actor. You see that actor that he did? Because it's not the first time I've seen him cry like that. I mean, when I came out of the house, um, I started hearing stories from my own shippers, by the way. I've forgotten the <laughs> Rosebuds. Yeah. Okay. So Rosebuds was my um, own fan base. Fans. And they were um, trying to tell me that Kachi had a girlfriend whom he was supposed a fiance whom he was That's supposed funny. to get married to. So when he saw, when I started asking specific questions to him, and he was, he's, he's like, you know what? She already knows. There's no need to pretend. Yes. That's when he started crying. And then told me that, yes. Um, I have a girlfriend. He didn't use the word fiance. Um, we were the deal between me and her was that yes, I would go in, find love, come out, and break up with the person. But along the line, I fell in love with you. That was his words okay. to me. And then he was crying. And then my advice to him was that okay, you know what? She's hurt, and she's a woman like me. I think you were like putting that. Putting yourself in. I her was shoes. putting myself. So I said. Take someone that she would respect in your family, like an uncle or an elder brother, and go. Because he was saying, I'll go with police to go and get my things back. I'm like, no, no. you hurt this girl. So why would you even say you're going to, like... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. So go with someone that she respects in your family, that she looks to, and go and apologize. Don't even go there because you want to get your things back from her that she had taken. Just first go there first and say sorry. Before 
the rest can come in. And that was my advice to him that day. But did he do that? Eventually he did, but I didn't get to know until after he had done that. <laughs> okay, you, you, you mentioned something about that he said that the girl is a girlfriend, but yeah. she's his fiance. Why she, did you say that? She's his fiance because um, he was going to get married to her. To her. Despite the fact that he had told me that they were both AS, AS, yeah. and because of that was the singular reason that the parents did not approve of their wedding. But even when the parents didn't approve the wedding, he was still seeing her afterwards, but without the parents' knowledge. Uh -huh. I know you have a son. Yeah, when, I have two sons. Two sons, yeah, you said. When you guys went separate ways, how did your children take this? Um, my other son, I've not seen him um, for a long, long, long time. Last time I saw him was four years old. He was okay. four. Um, Jeremy kept asking about him because I kept defending. Covering up. Yeah, I kept covering up because I remember one time in the kitchen, Jeremy said, Daddy doesn't love me. And I was like, why would you say that? So children are sensitive. They see these things that we don't see. And my mom was like, listen to your son. He knows what he's saying. But because Jeremy craves for a father, wants a father, because his father's late, my father now has been his father. So he calls my dad now his father. Wow. And that was what he was calling Kachi at the time. Yes. Which he didn't earn in the first place. <laughs> he just came... And he was just being called that, so he didn't earn it. So at what point um, <clears throat> did you decide that um, you had enough, regardless what is at stake? Because you guys were going to be sponsored, the wedding will be sponsored, and all that. I would had enough. There's one thing I, would, I, I, I learned from this. When you love yourself as a woman enough, and having a child or children, and you're bringing a man into your life. Uh, is this person an ideal role model, first of all, for your, for children? your children? Second of all, the red flags, do not ignore them. So do you love yourself enough to be able to take everything that's been thrown at you? I couldn't. And then the last one was disrespecting my family, particularly my parents. That's the last straw for me because I wasn't disrespecting his parents. Kachi painted a picture that you did an abortion intentionally to hurt him. You didn't want to go ahead with the wedding. You were cheating you were this and that. Did you really have an abortion? No. Of his child? No. What exactly happened? So he claims that I went to the hospital in June. But you were pregnant. I was pregnant. For Kachi at yes. the time. Yes. So he claims that I was pregnant and I did the abortion in June. I was never near any hospital in June, only in May. And I was in the hospital at the time, May 5th, and um, left, was discharged on the 7th. So I stayed a night. You have an abortion, a DNC, for, he said 12 weeks, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. 12 mm -hmm. weeks. Please, can you calculate from the time we came out of ultimate love? You know, you know balance. <laughs> ultimate love, calculate April. Or she's like, yeah. Um, because it was March 20 something, so the next yeah. one month was April. So you can imagine April to June, 12 weeks. That means I got pregnant from the, from the house. house. <laughs> <laughs> you came out with your child. I came out pregnant. <laughs> but unfortunately, I actually lost the pregnancy I'm on so my sorry, son's sorry. birthday because of the stress. Like I was bottling a lot. You won't, you won't, you can't but imagine. But you guys would come on social media and just smile. I was covering. I was covering, but I was dying. But do you inside. feel bad for covering? Yes, I do. You, do I you wish, I wish you had walked yes, out, yes, walked away earlier, earlier than yes, you did? Yes, I do. I wish I had. Have you forgiven Kachi? Of course. Okay. Of course. Have you moved on? <laughs> Very well. Okay. Very well. <laughs> are you in love again? No, no. Please, no. Mm. Oh, are you no. traumatized? No, I'm not. Okay. Healing is not suppressing, it's releasing. So I have healed. But I'm taking my, my time. time. You Please. should take your time. I'm taking my time. Aww. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> All right, guys. We've come to the end of today's exclusive interview with Official Rosie. Beautiful Official Rosie. Ah, oh, you're so you. fine in person. <laughs> huh? I want to have a child that is fine like you. <laughs> All right, subscribe to our YouTube channel at TLIG Africa TV and follow us on all social media platforms because we will be dishing out amazing content. It's your girl, JK. Follow me on Instagram at JK underscore OAP. Bye for now. <laughs>